everyone and welcome to the new doll makeover and today guys it's gonna be a really cool one because today I'm going to make Ursula from the Little Mermaid and you know I've been planning to make Ursula already for a very 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 long time but I was all the time kind of postponing this project because let's be honest it's quite a difficult one it requires a lot of sculpting a lot of transformations lots of body modifications so I was kind of a little bit <laughs> <laughs> didn't dare to start this project and today I think I'm finally ready I have an idea I have like a plan in my head how I'm gonna do it how I'm going to achieve it and today we're going to try to transform a monster high doll into Ursula I think it's gonna be a very cool transformation I'm really excited about it so that's why let's keep this intro very short and let's immediately start working but actually before I start working I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode Skillshare I'm really happy to continue our collaboration with my favorite online learning community you know I've been following new classes on Skillshare literally all the time to learn something new to improve my business and my art and also to become better at photography video video editing and to improve my time management skills. And while many of you may know Skillshare mostly for classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, actually they offer hundreds of career focused classes as well. You can use Skillshare to learn how to design a career to fit you, because not everyone is happy with their traditional 9 to 5 jobs. So you can explore your creative and career options and learn what it takes to break into a creative industry. You can take classes to find your creative voice and style and gain more financial stability. And for this I can recommend a couple of classes that I've followed myself lately. The first one is called TikTok for everybody, script, shoot and upload your first TikTok by content creator and stand-up comedian Josh Otusania. I started developing my own TikTok account lately and I needed some inspiration and information from a professional. And this class was a perfect choice for me because I got inspired and I learned absolutely everything I needed to get started on TikTok through this class. So if you are looking to get started on TikTok as well, this is a perfect class for you. And follow me on TikTok, by the way. And another class that I followed lately is called Social Media for Creatives, 5 Exercises to Power Your Freelance Career by an illustrator, designer and a podcaster and J Pizza. And this is a perfect class for any creative practitioner looking to build a fan base and steady stream of income online. And you can apply these lessons to your medium of choice, whether that's illustration, photography, design, writing or music. I've been working as a full-time doll maker and content creator already for over five years and you know sometimes you get a feeling like you're just running in circles. And classes like this really give me a huge boost of inspiration and fresh ideas. So, and if you want to try Skillshare, you can do it completely for free because the first thousand people to use the link in the description under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So, go there and check it out. So, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's dive into the doll transformation. So these are the parts I'm going to use to make my Ursula and you can see I'm going to combine this abyss torso with this tail with tentacles taken from another doll. I think they will look absolutely great together, it's absolutely perfect combo for my future Ursula. But we will modify her body of course, we're going to do it a little bit later, but right now let's remove everything of this doll, the outfit, accessories, then I will cut her hair off and then I will remove your face with pure acetone.
everything is gone and now it's time to give her new hair. Ursula has white hair, so I will use this white nylon for my doll, but first I will paint her head with a couple of layers of white acrylics. And I also want to give her that widow peak on her hairline on the front, because Ursula has it, so my doll's supposed to have it as well. And then when the paint gets dry, I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. Okay, this is where I am right now, it looks good, but Ursula has these darker grey strands next to her temples. So I will add these strands to her hair as well, using a little bit darker grey hair. I will add tacky glue inside of her head and I will let it dry for a couple of days. It's quite cold nowadays and it's wet in the house during winter time, so drying takes a little bit longer. I would say I will have to wait, I don't know, around four to five days probably. And it means I have enough time to work on her body. So, first of all, let's cut off the torso, disconnect it from the legs, and I'm going to connect it to the tail with the tentacles. And I will use Warbler Cobra Cast Thermoplastic for it, because it's very sticky. Good, now I need to make more tentacles, because four are clearly not enough, so I'm going to make four more tentacles out of Fimo clay.
Now I can shape them like those original tentacles and then I will bake them in the oven for 30 minutes. And as a result, I've got four absolutely beautiful, strong tentacles, very happy with them. So now let's glue them to the doll's body. Okay guys, this is it for now, the tentacles look good, so the next step is adding more shapes and volumes to her body, we need to make her a little bit more fat, and first of all I'm going to create a base out of kitchen foil, and then I will cover it all with epoxy clay. And guys, this is what I've made, <laughs> it took a while of course, but I don't know, I think it looks really great, I'm very happy about it. So now I can put it aside for 24 hours to let it fully dry, and meanwhile I can go back to her face and I want to make it more fat as well. Our Ursula needs some extra chins, and I'm going to make it out of epoxy sculpt as well. Gosh, guys, it looks scary. I don't know, will it even work? I suddenly started to doubt everything. But anyway, I will let it dry for 24 hours. And then I still want to sketch the Ursula's white smile on the doll's face. And then I will cut out all this extra rubber where her teeth are supposed to be. Her smile will look better like this, I think. And after this, I will paint the face and the top of the doll's body with white acrylics and I will also spray them with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. Great guys, now it's finally drawing time and first of all I want to create Ursula's lavender color skin tone. Thank you. 
Then I'm sketching the eyes, the evil eyebrows, and she has very evil eyebrows, like the most evil eyebrows in the world, probably. And also the lips. And after this, I will work on her blue eyeshadows. The eyeshadows need to be very vibrant with a dark gray shadow above the crease. So I will have to apply quite a couple of layers of soft pastels to create the deep and at the same time very vibrant look. Okay guys, that was some job really. This face looked so scary in the beginning that I wasn't really sure I would be able to make anything out of it. But you know, now everything looks really great to me. This face looks really gorgeous. I'm super happy about it. So now let's put it aside, let's move on and let's work on her body. So first of all, I will blush the open body part, like the top of her body with soft pastels. And then I will cover the rest of her body with acrylics. already looks really good. Now I just need to paint her nails red and we're done with drawing and painting for today. Now I 
want to style her hair. Ursula has quite short hair, standing straight up. So let's try to make something similar. Okay, this is the finished hair. There is of course a lot of hair gel and hairspray on it, but it looks really great to me. So now let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, uh, what else, the earrings, and then we'll make the Ursula's very important shell necklace. Look, I have this teeny tiny shell and it has an absolutely perfect size and shape for the Ursula's necklace. So let's attach a piece of thread to it, cover it with gold and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Here is finally my finished Ursula doll and I can tell you honestly it wasn't an easy project. I kept convincing myself to trust the process and to not panic too early because things looked pretty bad in the beginning. But you know it's quite a difficult task to trust some imaginary process when the process exists just in your head and nobody knows if this is actually a working process. So it wasn't easy today, but everything turned out even better than I expected, really. I think my Ursula looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm super proud of this work today and I really hope that you enjoyed it as well. It was a little bit different this time, but it was fun, well, at least for me, hopefully for you as well. So. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think about this epic transformation. Let's discuss it in the comments. If you have other good ideas of characters, Disney villains, some other villains, please let them down in the comments under this video. And if you want to buy this doll, you can check the link in the description box under this video. This doll is for sale right now on eBay for three days, so maybe this one is for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. And this is it for today. I will see you in my next doll repaint video, normally in two weeks. And this is it, guys. Yeah, love you. Have a nice weekend. Bye.